Have you been thinking about buying the cool cabana for you and your family, but you want a little bit more information before you hit that buy now button? Well, Angus over at Cool Cabanas was nice enough to send me over their large sunshade so you and I can get an up-close look at this very popular beach cabana from the land down under. Now, the Cool Cabana is pretty easy to set up, even if you're flying solo like me. You first want to insert the sand spike inside the center pole so the pointy end is facing out. You then want to hold it vertically like this and tap it down into the sand until the red line is right above the top of the beach. If you're on a beach with soft, powdery sand, you can always kick some sand up around the pole just to give it some more stability. Next, you want to place the center of the cool cabana on top of the pole. I like how the two parts just fit together perfectly without the need to be tightened with some kind of a screw or lever. Okay, now it's time to extend the arms and fill up the sand pockets. Now I can tell you from past experience, it's best to start with the windiest side first by extending one arm and filling up the sand pocket and then moving over to the opposite corner and doing the same thing. Now the cool cabana doesn't come with a sand scoop, so I'm using my own here just to speed up the setup. But realistically, this cool cabana can be set up without a sand scoop in less than two minutes. As I'm sure you can tell from watching this video, this beach shade is pretty easy to set up. Now if you set up your cool cabana on an uneven beach, you may notice that some of the columns may seem a little loose. You can get rid of this slack by just scooping some sand from under the sand pocket until it's nice and taut. Now if you want to align your cool cabana so it's straight on with the ocean, you can just point one corner of the pole towards the sea like this, and there you have it. Now I wanted to show you how the cool cabana holds up on a windy day at the beach, so I set it up when the winds were blowing around 12 miles per hour. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful so far, please hit that like button. And thanks again for subscribing to my Beach Gear Guy channel. Well, I followed the instructions, and the cool cabana stayed up without any problems. Son of a gun. Now, just to be on the safe side, I had my stunt team sit under it, just in case it blew over. But I'm happy to report that the Cool Cabana held its own. The Cool Cabana looks fun and carefree on the outside, but under this Australian sunshade is some pretty impressive hardware. These plastic parts and fiberglass rods are really rugged yet flexible. Even the ends of the arms are designed well, so they won't rip through the corners of the fabric. Speaking of the fabric, the Cool Cabana is made from a pretty thick polyester, which provides UPF 50 plus sun protection. So how about if you're sitting under it and it starts to rain? Well, I set it up on the lawn so you and I could find out. Now the Cool Cabana website does sell grass kits with metal stakes, but I don't have one. So I used my orange screws, which worked fine. Well, from the looks of it, the Cool Cabana is fairly water resistant. I couldn't feel any moisture penetrate through the fabric at all. I thought some of the water would drip through the top of the wind vent, but there was enough of an overlap to keep most of the water out. The water just beads right up and rolls off. And that's exactly what you want. After the water resistance test, I dried off the Cool Cabana by giving it one of my infamous leaf blower tests. And I must say, it held up well under the pressure. Overall, it's really a well thought out sunshade for the beach. This cool cabana measures 7 feet 10 inches by 7 feet 10 inches. It's just tall enough for my folks to stand under it, but it's not tall enough for their Sasquatch beach gear guy son. But that really doesn't matter because this is the way the cool cabana is meant to be enjoyed. I personally think that the cool cabana looks, well, cool. But there's also something classy about it. I can actually imagine a celebrity sitting under this Australian beach shade with me. Someone like Margot Robbie or Hugh Jackman. Huh, wouldn't that be something? Now packing up the cool cabana doesn't take that long at all. Basically, all you need to do is empty out the sand pockets and fold in the arms. I've been placing the sand pockets over the top of the cool cabana as if they were little hats which makes sliding it back into the carrying bag a little bit easier. The Cool Cabana weighs less than 15 pounds and is 43 inches long when it's all packed up. Here's what it looks like in the back of my Jeep Wrangler, and here's how it fits in the trunk of a Toyota Camry. I really want to thank Cool Cabanas once again for sending me their beach shade so I could try it out and show it to you. Thanks again for hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel, as well as sharing this video with all of your beach buddies. And I hope you take it easy at the beach.